Design Studio. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lala, aka Lachelle, aka Shell, aka Michelle, my bell. Um, and I think it's time we had a real conversation. I know y'all used to me doing like fun vlogs and all this other stuff, but I needed to be transparent today for my own sake. I've actually been holding on to how I feel for quite some time now, to be honest. And I really didn't want to bring it to my channel because I was worried that people might view it as negative. And so I was like, no, just hold off on saying something, but I can't anymore because it's starting to bother me that much. With that being said, I'm not helping anybody anymore become a content creator or any of those things like that. Um, an influencer, I'm a blogger, I'm not helping with any of that. When I say I'm not helping, if I have like a link or something I can toss you, I will. But the hours of research I've been putting into people, days um, I've been putting into people, trying to give people tutorials, whether it be over the phone or they got me typing paragraphs. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not. And I hope y'all don't look at me a certain type of way because of it. But at this point, I'm noticing that there are a lot of people who use me. They use me to learn whatever it is they want to learn. And then they just throw me away, which I'm not so upset with because I don't trust most people anyway. But it's the it's the people who pretend to be my friends and my family that bother me. There have even been people who have pretended to be interested in me, like as far as dating, when it was all about, oh, are you going to show me on your channel or, oh, uh, I want to become a YouTuber. What programs do you use? How do you record this? How do you record that? What do you use to edit? What's your equipment? Like, and here's the gag. I'm a, like, naturally, I love to nurture and teach people. So the fact that you are trying to finesse me out of something I would do for you anyway, like you're weird, you're manipulative, and you're trash to me. So I'm just done. Um, I've had repeated instances where I've invested a bunch of time and effort into people and they will be there supporting me, sharing my videos in my comments, you know, every live chat, they're there until they start to grow as a creator. And then I don't see them anymore. Like there are literal people I can name by name. And the irony is sometimes I'm not even the first person to pick up on it. Other people will be like, oh, where's so-and-so? And then I'll find out that they done created a channel. But here's the irony. So if you don't like my content, that's fine. I, I honestly am excited that I'm not for everybody because everybody is most certainly not for me. But you all <laughs> will ghost me after I help you. You'll stop supporting me. Like I said, you won't be in my comments anymore. You won't be sharing videos, nothing. But then I'll go to your channel and your content looks a lot like mine. So it's one thing to not like my content. I can respect that. But for a lot of you, my content is good enough for you to copy, but not good enough for you to support. And by no means do I think everything that I do on YouTube, I made, I came up with on my own. No. I constantly tell y'all who inspired me. And that's the difference between me and a lot of y'all. If I get inspired by somebody, I'll tell y'all, shout out to such and such. I got this from them. Go to their channel. Go subscribe if you like what you see. Da, 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 da. A lot of y'all sit there and pretend like you came up with it. And you'll let people give you credit. And instead of being like, nah, I got that from Shell. You literally sit there. You sit there and act like you're the one who came up with it. When y'all don't understand, these videos are my baby. They take me hours, sometimes days just to edit because I love doing it so much and I'm so concerned about trying to make sure I put out a quality product. I don't even catch everything all the time, but between recording and editing, y'all don't know how much of my time this consumes, which is why I get so irritated when y'all steal it and pass it off as your own. That's why I've been doing so many different things on my channel. The number one reason is I want my subscribers to look forward to coming here. That's number one. Number two is, of course, I want to attract new subscribers. Number three, I want all of you who copy off of me to have to work 
If you're going to steal my content, pass it off as your own, get fame and clout from it, you're going to work. I'm going to make you earn it. I am tired, y'all. I am tired. I reached whatever level of frustration you can reach. There are so many big YouTubers I used to frown at. You know what I mean? Like I used to look down upon because I was like, yo, you just forgot everybody that's got you here. Like your subscribers, your supporters. There's the ones who make you who you are because I used to see them feeding everybody with a long hand spoon. And I was just like, man, you hoes are so stuck up. But now I have to eat my words. Some of y'all have done me so dirty. I now understand why nobody wants to fool with a lot of y'all. I get it now. And it's messed up for me because I'm a person that cares. I want to help people. I want to make this as big of an experience for everybody because I honestly feel with my whole heart that there is enough room, there's enough people, there's enough money out here for all of us to eat. We don't have to have the crab in a barrel mentality, but you hoes won't let it go. Y'all are so thirsty and insecure that you go out of your way to treat people underhanded, you go out of your way to steal, you go out of your way to ostracize, you go out of your way to step on anyone that you can because you want the clout so bad. And this is the gag. For a lot of y'all, it's not even about the money. You're that thirsty for attention that you are cutthroat in areas and with people that you don't need to be. Imagine pretending to care about me as a person and trying to pretend to be invested in my life all because you want YouTube tips. When, like I said, I would give that to people naturally. You didn't have to try to manipulate me to do it because now I got to beat myself up for being dumb enough to trust you because you a whole snake. So with that being said, I'm not helping anyone. And not just that, I've put so much effort into other people that I watch them surpass me. You think any of them ever said, shout out to Shell, go check out Shell channel? She, no, they pass me and never look back. And for the longest, I felt guilty for being upset about it because I was like, I don't do this to get anything in return, but I won't act like it don't suck that none of you want to reciprocate the energy that I gave you. Now, I want to be clear, definitely with the exception of my sister. My sister has always had my back. She, even in areas where she does much better than my sister, be like, you need to go do this. Come here. Y'all go check out my sister's stuff. Like, that's how she hold me down. The rest of y'all, baby, <laughs> I can't. So I'm not. I, the Y'all days of using me are done. Like, I'm going to apologize to any bigger YouTuber that felt like I shot a subliminal at you because I said you were wrong for not being as accessible. I understand. There have literally been times where I put my own projects on hold to help other people. And as soon as they feel good, it is not even when they like or if they pass me in numbers because some still haven't. But as soon as they feel comfortable, they completely disregard me. Y'all, I don't even get so much as a hello. But when they was trying to learn stuff, they were, hey, girl, me to death. And it's not just with content. It's even with the stuff. Well, what you do for the twins? Well, how you make that avatar? Well, how you operate them? Y'all y'all have no idea the stuff I've done behind the scenes. People be hitting me up at like 3 a.m. on Instagram. I get messages on Facebook. They be putting stuff in my comments. They message me in world. And all they want is information. And it... it like I say, it's information I would give away freely, even if I had videos made on it. People wouldn't even be, people would even act like they don't have the time to watch my videos. So it's like I took hours to get that video and put it together for you, put all the information in it. Even in the description box, the information is there, but you can't be bothered to watch it. So now I should take more of my time to teach you something I already taught. I understand. To every bigger YouTuber that I, you feel like I shoot you a subliminal or I looked at you sideways or whatever because I was like, why you treat your supporters like that? I get it. <laughs> I get it. I'm not going to be mean to my supporters or nothing like that. I'm not doing that. But y'all days of t occupying me for hours so that you can learn something is done. From now on, if y'all want a tutorial or something like that, it's going to have to be in a video and y'all going to have to show me some love to get it. It's, it's no more me taking two and three hours for y'all to just rip off my stuff and not even share the video. I'm not doing that anymore. 
Like, I love my supporters with all my heart. Don't get me wrong. Y'all tell me, Shell, this is what we want to see. I'm going to put it out. You see me, I'm going to speak. You hit me up, I'm going to speak. But those days of, show me what your recorder you use. What type of graphics card do you have? What type of mic do you have? What do you use to edit your stuff? What do you use when you do this effect? How did you get your video to do I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not. And with that being said, this video has already went too long for me I didn't want to make it a long rant but I just wanted to be clear because I didn't want nobody to be like I'm acting funny or anything too many people have done me dirty and I have learned the lesson it doesn't matter how genuine you are in your intent no it it doesn't none of that means anything people gonna be snakes and that's it for every 20 people I've helped I might have one or two people if I'm lucky to reciprocate my energy and I'm just over it. It's exhausting. I'm not making a sacrifice anymore. <laughs> I wish y'all the best. If it's something quick that I can throw you a link, then I'll help you. But I'm not doing those lengthy tutorials for y'all anymore unless it's via a video so that way everybody knows I showed you. Because the problem is I do a lot behind the scenes and, and nobody gives me credit. So if I complain about it, it's very easy for them to be like, no, -uh, because it's all in like IMs and stuff like that. And I could be grimy because there were moments where I did take screenshots and screen records after people did me dirty because they wasn't even smart enough to clear the evidence before, you know, switching up. But it's just not worth it anymore. So you can thank the people before you for anybody who's like, man, I was going to ask her for help. You can thank all the bums <laughs> that came before. They're, they're the reason I'm not helping anybody anymore. And I'm going to start feeding a lot of people with long hand spoon. So all of y'all who want to pretend to be my friends, pretend to be family members, pretend to be love interests so that you can get featured on the channel or get some extra YouTube tips or find out what's tea. Baby, y'all finna have to work for this trust because I'm tired. Y'all have no idea how many people have done me greasy. Y'all have no idea how many people have stole from me. Y'all have no idea how many people I have helped and never looked my way again. And I'm just over it. I'm over it. Like, I remember the days where people would have like 50 subscribers and I'm still telling people, go check them out. You know what I mean? And that person, as soon as their numbers got bigger than mine, because I'm not going to lie, I've ghosted my channel before. 2023, honestly, is the most consistent I have been on my channel, which is why y'all see the growth that you do. You can just go check my videos to verify for yourself. This is the most consistent I've been. And that lets me know that I've invested so much in other people that they've been able to pass me. And I could have been investing that energy in myself and been much better off than I am now. Because those people passed me and never look back. Jokes on y'all because I did go back and check a lot of y'all channels out. And now the playing field is evened out. I'm done. I'm done, y'all. I'm tired. I don't want this negative energy anymore. I don't even know how long I'm going to leave this video up, but I feel like I've been holding it in for so long that it's eating at me. I apologize to anybody who feels like, oh, this is draining and negative. Go ahead and click off the video because I said what I said. But for the rest of y'all who haven't done me dirty, have no intention to do me dirty, don't pretend to be cool with me because you clout chasing or anything like that, which child, I don't even feel like I got enough clout for people to be being fake with me, but apparently I do. Y'all will chase somebody with 100 subscribers and two views. You just want to be seen. Not everybody. But if the shoe fits, wear it. If it's too tight, take it off. I feel better. Like I said, to the people who have been genuine in their support, genuine and rocking with me, this is not for y'all. I love y'all to pieces. But for y'all fake ones, you know who you are. Even if you get in the comments and try to flex for people, understand I see more than I say. This video is for you. I hope you take it personal. I hope you feel some type of way. I hope it makes you mad. I hope it makes you want to block me. And I hope you execute all of those things. Because I've had enough. I really am quality over quantity right now. I will take three loyal people over a hundred fake people. I'm tired. As a person who genuinely cares about and likes people, I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. So I'm out. What's up, y'all? Editing Shell here. Um, I also wanted to do a shameless plug because why not? Um, go follow me on Kick.
I go live there much more often than I go live on YouTube. And that's going to be the case. I'll be going live less and less on YouTube because it's so restrictive and more so on kick. Y'all just go make an account. You can make it on your phone. You can make it on your computer. It's free. And a lot of content creators are moving over there. I will be doing a lot of second life content, but I want to do other stuff too. But like I said, I'm going to be live more on kick than on YouTube. All right. Peace.